hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i make my diy body butter if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below any question and don't forget to subscribe this butter is going to get your skin glowing all day trust me it works The first ingredient we are going to be using to make this amazing body butter is shea butter. I'm going to be adding about half cup of the shea butter. Shea butter is considered as one of the best anti-aging agents for the skin. I got this shea butter for an African market, but you can also find this on Amazon. I suggest that you get the shea butter that looks like this. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is jojoba oil. Jojoba oil works as a natural moisturizer for the skin. This oil has a lot of benefits for the skin. I'm going to list some of the benefits down in the comment section or in my description box. I'm also going to be adding sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil helps to improve the complexion and skin tone. It also helps to treat dry skin. The next oil I'm going to be adding is sunflower oil. This oil is amazing for the skin. It helps to protect skin against damage caused by the sun and aging. I'm going to be doing the double border method. So I transfer this double border to the stove and allow the butters and oil to melt down for a few minutes. I suggest that you melt the butter down before you start whipping it. I use a spoon to speed up the process. You can use any oil of your choice. I suggest that you use these oils that I use in this video because they work so well for the skin. But if you don't have them, you can use what you have. If you are watching this video and you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying the video. This is how it's looking like, as you can see. I'm going to use this wrap to cover it and then I will place it in the freezer for, for 10 to 12 minutes. After 10 minutes, this is how it's looking like. You don't want to keep this in the freezer for too long. I suggest 10 minutes. I transfer it to my mixing bowl. I'm using my hand mixer to mix. I whip the butter for 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure to whip the butter well because if you don't, it's going to come out too thick or too hard. It's not going to look like mine. I'm going to be adding about 20 drops of rose hip seed oil. Rose hip seed oil helps to exfoliate and brighten the skin. This oil is amazing for the skin. It also helps to reduce inflammation and protect the skin against sun damage. Rose hip seed oil 
also works as a natural moisturizer. I'm going to be adding about 10 drops of Feneda essential oil. This is optional. The reason why I'm adding it is to get that good Veneta smell in my bottle, but you don't have to do this. And then I whip for 10 minutes. Whipped, whipped, and whipped. <laughs> Like I said, you want to make sure to whip this bottle well. If you don't whip it, it's not going to come out like mine. This is how the bottle is looking like once I'm done whipping it. As you can see, it looks so good and it smells amazing. It smells like Veneta because of the Veneta essential oil I added. But you can add any essential oil or any scent of your choice. I transfer it to my jar. This bottle can be used on all skin types. Brown, chocolate, dark, light, medium, all skin types. And you can use it as a body cream I do not suggest you to apply the bottle to your face because I don't apply bottles on my face I apply this bottle to my legs after shaving and guys it feels so soft and so moisturized I don't know if that's the right way I'm saying it but you need to give it a try and let me know what you think this is how it's looking like. I have two jars. I'm going to use it for the next one month. I'm just going to show you how I apply the butter to my neck and see how it melts in my skin. So guys that's the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below any question and don't forget to subscribe i will see you in my next one take care bye